Would you like a website that ranks on Google without using WordPress or expensive tools? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and host your own SEO friendly site, plus generate unlimited blog content and boost your traffic fast. Let's dive in. All right, so we're going to build this website using Gitpage. If you haven't heard of it, basically what Gitpage does is it can build a website within a couple of minutes. You simply fill in a form, it interprets your requirements and generates that site. In fact, Gitpage, it did spend a bit of time on Y Combinator's Hacker News, and it got a lot of upvotes and some really good feedback. You can check that out on Hacker News if you want to take a read. Just back on Gitpage, I'm going to get started here. So I'll just sign in and then we can build our site. Once you're signed in, all we need to do is click on this and go to next. Then it's going to ask us to choose a language for our website. We'll go with English for this one. What's the main heading for your landing page? So I'm just going to use one that I've typically used when I do these demos called Texas Web Design. Next, I'm just going to go with informational color scheme. I'll go with standard hero statement. I'll say best websites in Texas. Three key features. So we've got custom design, SEO optimized, and fast load speed. Three benefits, low cost, full service, and we'll go with free updates. Would you like a FAQ section? Yes. The email for your landing page. So I'll just go with Texas Web Design, admin at texaswebdesign.com. Call to action. So this is going to be the link that going to take people to a form they can fill out to to contact us that kind of thing so https texaswebdesign.com and now gitpage is going to build the website based on our requirements and the best bit is we fully own the code it auto deploys to github and the hosting is completely free even if we add a custom domain which we most likely would like to do All right, so Gitpage has generated our website for Texas web design. We've got our buttons, we've got our hero section, we've got our features, a bit of a backstory about the team, and also success, testimonials, that type of thing. And then we have our FAQ and another call to action section. Right down the bottom, we have our footer. So all of these links, everything is working. If I click on the about, it takes us straight back to the about. So everything works complete privacy policy, terms of service, and we have a blog. So compared to WordPress, which is not free, you have to pay for hosting or you have to pay for a monthly subscription, Gitpage is free. Basically, it will cost you nothing to host this because it moves it onto a live site, a GitHub. To build the site, it will cost around 19 cents, between 19 and 22 cents. But apart from that, you are good to go. Now, it also includes a blog and it's got a starter blog in there that we can take a look at. So this is the blog listing page. As you add more blogs, they will appear here. And then the readers can click on the read more and actually read the blog. So this was generated with the site. Now, I've had a heap of questions on how do I add more blogs to my site? Can I do this with automation? And can I do this for free? So I'm first of all, I'm going to show you how to add more blogs the easy way. And then I'm going to show you the complete free way to do it. All right. As we've seen, the newly generated website we've got only has the one blog. This is the blog listing page. We're going to add a heap more here and we're going to do this using automation. So the easiest way to do this is head to Sigma SEO and we're going to click on this programmatic SEO menu link and go to automation. Once we're in the automation, all we need to do is give it the head term and the AI will do the rest. So if I type in web design for, the AI will complete the blog titles that we can use and then generate them and send them over. So hit submit. Now you can see we have 50 SEO blog titles. Now I wouldn't recommend doing the whole lot. It's probably not good practice in terms of what Google expects. So I'd select maybe four to six. So I'll go web design for lawyers, beginners, realtors, dentists, and doctors. Great. So once I've done that, 
The only other thing I need to do is add some target keywords. So I can put in obviously web design and maybe, maybe actually that'll do for this one. It's just an example. So I'm going to cut the word count down. So this does it a bit quicker, but you can choose, you know, 500,000, one half thousand, whatever. You can change the tone, the language, the region, etc. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. So once we've done that, I'm just going to hit post and this is going to send it directly over to and publish automatically live online. So just hit post it and we'll come back when it's done. All right, so Sigma is done. So just back on our site we just built. If I refresh it with a bit of luck, I'll start seeing the blogs we've generated. So they're starting to come through now. Sometimes they will take a few minutes, but there we go. We can have a look at uh, this first one here, web design for beginners. And this is our blog article. So fully automated. And obviously you can update the image. You can modify the text. You can have call to actions, interlink the sites, whatever you like. So compared to WordPress, we can build a website in a couple of minutes. We can add blogs with automation in just a few minutes. And we have a site that is SEO ready and going to get clicks on Google. If you'd like to level up your SEO game and improve your digital marketing skills, head to ninja200.online. It has all the tools and resources you need to get ahead of the competition. It's my private community and I'm turning up there every single day and helping the members achieve their goals. All right, so now we want to generate some blogs for our site, but using a totally free method. First thing we need to do is go to the repository where our blogs are stored. If you've just generated a getpage.site site, there will only be the one blog in there. And in this site, it's this one here. And you can tell because it's the oldest dated one. So what you need to do is click on that original blog and press copy. Now, what we want to do then is go to Claude and I've got this prompt here. This is an existing blog on my website. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And there it is. And I've drafted a new blog using the same. So using the same style and theme can you generate a new blog.html file with this blog content. So I've gone over to Sigma. You can use whichever tool you want to generate your blogs for free. You might even write it a bit like old school, but anyway, so just press copy. And then I'm just going to paste in just the raw blog that we've written, for example. And what Claude's going to do is look at the style and theme that was generated from Git page and use those styles to apply to this raw content. All right. Now, obviously there is a bunch of different ways you can do this. I'm just showing you one method, which is using Claude to to rejig the HTML. But if you're familiar with HTML, you're not going to need to do this. So I'm just going to ask it to add a placeholder image, which is similar to the reference HTML file. And in case you didn't notice, my grammar here is really bad, but luckily Claude was good enough to work out what I meant. All right, so it's gone and grabbed an image from Unsplash. So all we need to do now is copy this HTML file, go back to our repo, we're going to add a new file. I'm just going to call this webdesign.html, paste in the code we got from Claude, commit the changes, and you can see it's this one here. Now, if we go back to the site we built, and I scroll down to blogs, guess what? It's not there. And the reason for that is this is the blog listing page and we haven't updated it yet. But if in the URL up the top here, if I add in the URL that has blog forward slash web design, which is what we named our file, this is the blog that we just generated. So it's all there. That is how you can take the using the style and theme from the site you've built, create a new blog and get it back up onto your site. But let's finish the job properly and let's update the, the blog listing. So to update our blog listing page, all we need to do is go back to our repo. We just need to click on blog.html and this will give the HTML for the page that contains our blog listing. So just press copy on that. 
Down the bottom here, I've added a new prompt and it just says, can you add my new blog that is saved in the same folder as my other blogs with the name webdesign.html. So in here, I just paste in the blog listing page HTML. Claude can, can do its thing. All right, so Claude's finished. And all we need to do now is just copy this HTML and put it back in our repo. To do that, we just click the little pencil icon. We're going to delete out everything that's in here, paste the new file in, commit the changes, and that is it. We are all done. So back on our blog listing page, I just have to wait about 60 seconds to a refresh and it should appear. There it is, web design for small business. And there's our site. So we have done the two methods, full automation and also the manual method of just generate your own blog and then use the same theme styling HTML structure to get that blog up onto our site. So I hope that's been useful. If you like this kind of stuff, check out the other videos here that I've done on Git page and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.